Hello, hello, hello. It's Knits for Sanity and welcome to my channel. I am so glad you stopped by. Whether this is your first time, your 50th time, or your 100th, I'm so happy to have you. Today, I have a wonderful unboxing from Diamond Art Club, one of their Valentine special kits that came out last Wednesday. The Valentine Gnomes. After paying for car repairs, what does a diamond painter do why she spends the rest of her Christmas money on diamond paintings of course and when Diamond Art Club announced that they were releasing this one midweek I knew I had to have it I am in love with the gnome paintings I think they are so stinking cute now I am not an affiliate with Diamond Art Club so this is just me sharing this kit but let's look at it together for starters, we know that this is a square kit because it does have the square on the front. If it were not, it would be a circle, a pink circle, showing round diamonds, but this is square. And here is our picture of what we will expect to see inside. This is a 17 by 24 inch kit, and when we open it up, you will get a better detail of what there is in here. So Wednesday, Diamond Art Club, they did a midweek release of three different Valentine paintings. And honestly, I loved them all. Um, they were all super cute. But it was the gnomes that I had to settle on and get. They were definitely my favorite. All right, so when we open this up on the inside, you have your mini sticker which does show you all of the basic information. Susan, I don't know how to say her name, if it's Winget or Wing, wing It. I, I don't know, but I have quite a bit of her artwork. I do love her stuff. This is adorable. Nobody loves you like I do. Gnome buddy. <laughs> so cute. Um, and then their toolkit. I'm just going to go through this very, very quickly. This is their new toolkit although it's not been out for quite some time and more than likely if you do order a painting a kit from diamond art club this is the toolkit that you will now get if for some reason you do not don't fear everything you need will still be in that toolkit so if we open it up what comes in a standard square drill toolkit from diamond art club you of course have a drill pen with a grip uh, this one's black. This is the first black drill pen I've ever gotten. Um, oh, look at this. Look at, look, look. I actually got the grippy on. Typically, I can never do this. And I have a daughter that takes such joy in the fact that mom can't get these grippies on, but she can. <laughs> and then it does come with two different multi-placers that you can put on the end. You have wax that comes in a little container which I really appreciate because it does help your wax prevents it from drying out inside there are two different wax patties you will you shouldn't even use one full wax patty to complete this painting okay just kind of an FYI if you use more than one wax patty you're probably using too much wax on your drill pen I mean every person is different though but it is important to know that both sides of this are covered in plastic and you are going to want to remove that plastic one side's always harder to get off than the other. But you're going to want to remove that plastic before you try and use this in your drill pen. Put these away. There is a drill tray. Um, this piece is a stopper. If you so choose to use it, you can put it in just like that. Little baggies, in case you kit up using little baggies. Because this is a square diamond painting, it does come with a pair of tweezers. Now, these are cute. These are kind of a themed Valentine tweezer. Um, it did come with a little nick on the back, but that is certainly not going to affect the uh, overall quality and usefulness of these tweezers. They are pretty sharp. These are not quite as sharp as some of the others I've gotten. But generally, their tweezers are very sharp, so I do recommend holding on to the cap for this, especially if you have little people around. It's probably wise just to keep this capped. And round kits do not come with this. You also get a cover minder, which just helps hold back the plastic part of a diamond painting. If you are 
one that uses, keeps the plastic, the original plastic on there, then this can hold it back. And then some washi tape, which is often used around the outside edges of a painting because usually there is some stickiness there. Sometimes you can section off your painting using washi tape. It all depends on how you diamond paint. All right, so this is the toolkit. We're gonna move that aside. Diamond Art Club paintings do come in a little plastic bag, which I appreciate. Um, I speak about this every time, but plastic waste is kind of a big deal for me. And that's one thing that I struggle with with this hobby. And so I'm always trying to look for ways to reuse all the plastic I get or ways that I can cut down on the plastic, such as optional toolkits. I don't need a toolkit, so if I don't have to have one in my kit, I will opt to not have it come. But with Diamond Art Club, the way that they work, they just, they have to include toolkits with all of their canvases. And that's okay. But this covering your canvas in plastic is one use of plastic that I wholeheartedly agree with. It just helps protect your canvas. I have received items in the mail that have been completely waterlogged and ruined. And a plastic covering will help make sure that that does not happen. This is a double poured glue. I mean, a double, <laughs> a port glue canvas. Oh, oh, and it's so cute. Once you unroll it on the inside, you do have a little bit of an information brochure. This has tips and tricks, how to's, some other information, some potential discount codes you can take advantage of. If you're brand new to diamond painting, spend a couple minutes looking through this. And then Diamond Art Club, one of the things that I love most about this company is that they give you these stickers. And I put them in my diamond painting journal. So on one half, you have the image that you are, you are or will be working on. So you can get a really good idea of what it is that you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and then these are this is your basic information at the bottom, giving its dimensions. It also has its SKU number on there in case you need to hunt for that in a different type of way. They also give you a start and end date, which is kind of fun too. And then to the right, you do have all of the colors listed. Uh, Diamond Art Club does use your DMC code, which is like, you know, DMC thread for cross stitch. It's the same code. One difference is that Diamond Art Club, they put their Aurora Borealis drills or AB drills as anything less than the number 150. So in this painting, there are four AB drills, one, two, three, and four, or DMC 105, 107, 114, 141. Um, the color code, I should say, not necessarily the DMC for these APs, are all these four right here. But otherwise, there are 40 colors in this painting, which given how really quite small this painting is, that is a really nice number of colors that we will see in here. Your drills always come packaged up really nice in a plastic sleeve. You do have the name of the painting on here, as well as your SKU information here as well. So if you need to store your drills separately, you will know what painting these drills go to. The painting itself, it is, because it's poured glue, I'm going to actually roll this backward. Diamond Art Club's canvases are amazing. They are soft, they are thick, they are very high quality. And given just a few more minutes, this canvas would have done a pretty adequate job of lying flat on its own. But to help it along, I'm just going to take a minute and roll it backward. So yes, the canvas is absolutely wonderful. The poured glue, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but the poured glue is like a sparkle poured glue. There is sparkle in there. I think maybe over the pink sections, you can see it quite well, actually. Um, for a square painting, which this one is, that's not quite as important. But for a rounded drill painting, that sparkle in the glue is really nice because the painting is meant to sparkle and shimmer. And with a round drill kit, you will see that canvas poking through behind those drills. And so if you can have the kit, I mean, the canvas itself sparkle a little bit, I think it's just that little extra touch that makes the painting look more complete and more beautiful. But with a square drill kit, 
you end up pretty much covering the entire canvas with your drills. Um, the edges are total fray prevention here between the scalloped edge cut as well as the little pin pricks. I have never had issues with a Diamond Art Club canvas fraying. There is a legend on both the left side of the canvas toward the top and on the right side of the canvas toward the bottom. Along the bottom, you also have a lot of branding information, warranty information, and then again, you will see down here your basic painting information, including who the artist is, the size, SKU number again, all of that information is down there. All right, I'm gonna blow you up. We're gonna look at these symbols real quick together. And what I always say is I never know for sure what symbols may or may not give me trouble until I'm actually working on a painting. But what I can do is see, are these symbols at least clear or will I have trouble reading any of them? With Diamond Art Club, I have never really encountered a problem with reading symbols. Usually they are very, very clear. Sometimes there will be some other types of confusion, you know, having two very similar symbols next to each other or something like that. But usually on the canvas itself, they are very clear. And that is the case with this painting as well. Okay, so what I do is I don't go through each drill individually. Instead, I just kind of open this up and I show you kind of what we're looking at here. So you can just get an idea of the colors in here. Obviously, this is a Valentine's painting, so is it any surprise that we look in this bag and see a lot of pink and red? Mm, no, <laughs> not at all. But there is a lot of pink and red in here. I do, however, like to pull out the AB drills. And we can look at those together. So here we have one at 105, which is kind of a light brown color there. And AB again is Aurora Borealis, and that's just a special coating that they put on the drills that help them sparkle and shine a little bit more. And pull out the drills around them. Just gives a more cohesive look to the whole painting, I think. And we have number 107, which is this beautiful red. Looks like that's everything on this sleeve. Nothing else is shining at me from that sleeve. Oh, here we go. We have a lot of this 114, which this is a slightly lighter red than your 107. If you can kind of see that, maybe on the back side. You can see it a little bit better on the back side. Your 107 is darker, but you have a lot of this 114. That's really pretty. It's almost like a strawberry red. It's really, really pretty. And there's one more AB in here somewhere. Do, do, do. Here we go. And 141, which is like a creamy white. Here. Very, very pretty. So then the last thing that I like to do with these unboxings, excuse me while I move these drills aside, very noisy, is I like to just take a minute and get an idea of where these AB drills are on this canvas. So let me blow you up again just a little bit this time. And we are looking for the symbols numbers one, two, three, and four. And that is where our AB drills will be on this canvas. So I'm going to put you back out again. And our numbers one, two, three, and four. The number one is all in this cute little girl gnome's hair. That is where you're going to find the number one. The number four which is the white, is in this gnome's hair as well, but it's his beard hair. Lots of number fours in here. Your number two is up here in the gnome buddy loves you like I do. There are number twos. Not all of these are number two, okay? Um, like I do is a completely different color, but the gnome buddy loves you like those are all in that number two AB color. 
And then finally, your number three AB is located like this heart has number three in there. This heart has number three. Um, this heart does have a little bit of four tucked up in here. Otherwise, there's number three in here. There's number three in here. Number three in here with a little bit more of the number four in there as well. So it looks like, oh, and down here in these mushrooms too. There's also a little bit of three in here in the mushrooms as well at the bottom. So pretty much mushrooms and hearts are going to have some of that um, really pretty like strawberry pink um, AB drill in them. This painting is so cute. And with that AB placement, what that is really, to me, what that is doing is it's really putting your emphasis right here. You know, it's meant to draw your attention to the nobody loves you like I do and their faces, especially. Super duper sweet. This is so cute. All the way down to, you have a couple of ladybugs sitting here on this toadstool. I mean, how cute is that? So here you have your love bugs down in the corner and here you have your love gnomes in the middle. It is so sweet. I love this painting. And Valentine's, hard to believe, it's less than a month away, just a few weeks. I will link this painting in the notes below. I am not sure if it is still available, um, but it was not a limited edition, I don't believe. So even if it is sold out now, you can sign up to be notified when they do have more in stock. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And like I always say, please practice kindness. You never know what someone is going through. The day they've had, the week they've had, just be kind. It's easier and better in the long run. And I hope that you are having an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. And I will see you again real soon.